Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We're back with another one, guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we do so, watch out for WhatsApp, the spam, all that good stuff in the comments down below, guys. So what's going on? It's looking crazy. It's looking wild. You got Bitcoin up from the $15,000 range back up to 16 k looking like it's ready to spike just to come right back lower. But you got the market coming down right now, you know, dropping everything's down. You got Coinbase. You got Carvana. You got... uh. You know, everything's down right now. It's an ugly, ugly market. So anyways, if we go ahead and uh, take a look at it, guys, like I told you guys today, you know, I was on the fence with the day anyway, meaning I just let Monday sometimes do what it do, let it digest, let it come to me, do whatever you want to do, and I'll figure you out later. So that's exactly what took place I told you guys, but in the back of my mind, as I said that, I also told you guys I wouldn't be surprised if it, you know, market makers, uh, you know, the algorithm of the stock market come down tanking on Monday as well, even though last week was real bloody and it was expected to at least see some type of, you know, take off. I was like, they could start the week off trying to scare more investors out before sending it back up near the half of the week and the uh, majority of the week it being green, guys. Because unless, if this week is always red like it was last week, that's going to give uh, the market time to close that gap field. The market will come down another 10%, 12%, maybe 15%. Bitcoin will drop down to 10, 11,000, and then it'll shoot back up. So it's, you know, regardless, this week, we're going to either see the market uh, close itself, fulfill that gap, and next weekend on out, we're going to see, you know, a whole bunch of green, or they're going to continue to, you know, stall it out. And it's going to shoot back up from here before coming back down making a new lower low, and then going back up. So that's my take on that, guys. Let's go ahead and take a further look at what's going on, though, in the market. As we know, stocks fall to start short Thanksgiving week. Disney pop stocks fell Monday during the start of a short week for the Thanksgiving holiday as traders look ahead to speeches from the Federal Reserve and earnings reports. So we know the Federal Reserve is coming out uh, on Wednesday, I believe I was telling you guys in last night's video, the Dow Jones shared 70 points. Disney, which popped 8.7% after announcing that Bob Iger will replace Bob Chapek as CEO. The S&P 500 shared a half a percent. The Nasdaq composite fell 0.8%, guys. So if we go ahead and take a look at it, we know retail sales increased in October, but at the corporate level, Target reported slowing demand. Amazon announced it will lay off 10,000 employees although Home Depot and Walmart have posted strong results. So you got Amazon laying off over 10,000 employees. Twitter laid off over 3,700. Carvana laid off over, you know, a few thousand as well. Thousands. Uh, so it's getting it's getting hit to out there, guys. It's still hectic. These companies still have an abundance of inventory, not selling it at the volume that they were before. They dropping the prices, sales everywhere. Consumers still not picking the items up, so it's making it even harder for these companies to survive through what's going on, guys. So after all this is said and done, there's going to be a lot of companies that never recover and come back from this. There's going to be some companies that are able to have enough liquidity to hold them afloat until all of this is over, guys. So you already know what to do. Like I say, guys, today is one of those days, ugly day for the market. Hopefully, go ahead and start seeing a turnaround here soon because it did drop drastically early. You know, it ain't no slow drop. It is dropping pretty, pretty hard. So we could possibly see a turnaround towards, you know, an odd time at lunchtime. If we see that turnaround, it's definitely an indication that it could be a strong week for the market if we start turning around before power hour. So you already know what to do, guys. Add your boy on Instagram at the B Hayes Show. Get in VIP. I love y'all. Get your free stocks in the comments down below at WeBull and Coinbase. Or not WeBull. Yeah, WeBull and Robinhood. Also, hit me up for a one-on-one -on -one phone call or whatever you want to do. I love y'all. We out. God bless y'all. We gone.